Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial. And today's design tutorial is actually divided into two portions. One, uh, we will be making this cool U UI in Adobe XD, and we'll also be exporting all these components and everything for Android and iOS. Uh, from the same interface. We will be using AvoCode to do that. This is not a sponsor, it's just a tool that I use. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get started. So before we start today's design, I have started my own podcast. This is uh, for success and happiness. It's a motivational self-help podcast. Without further ado, let's get started with the design. And uh, I've already laid out in one of the artboards uh, all the different components that we'll use, the icons I've picked from Flat Icons, which is a cool website. I'll give the link down in the description as well. And I also have these assets, this logo and this burger. So these are all the basic assets we'll be using. I will be giving a link to the XD file down in the description, the XD, this entire XD file. So you can download it and get started with it. So. To start off, we will use an iPhone 10 X and 10s artboard, which is simple as that. I'll just bring it right here, and uh, I'll rename this to McDonald's since we'll be designing a McDonald's restaurant page here. I'm going to double click on this artboard, and on the in the appearance, on the fill, I'll click here, and from solid color, I'll go to linear gradient. We will be picking this red McDonald's color here and the same color we'll be picking up from here. And we'll just be making this, the bottom color, slightly darker so that it blends in just so. And uh, we will now start putting in all the basic assets right here. Uh, so now we will start off with placing the little uh, things from the top. Uh, the arrow I've saved as a symbol right here. I will drag and drop it here. And I'll place it on the corner here. And tw uh, 40 pixels from the top, one, two, three, four. And 20 from the left, so one, two. Uh, now we will drag in this McDonald's icon here. I'll just copy it over here. And since it's quite big right now, we will um, make it much smaller. Uh, let's say uh, 20 pixels in size, in width. Perfect. And uh, we will now give the heading for the restaurant, which will be McDonald's. Wow, that's that's huge. Okay, McDonald's. Perfect. By the way, my favorite uh, fast food joint is McDonald's. So that is, that is how I got the inspiration. <laughs> so I'll give this a Cerebri Sans font. I've already saved the heading font, which is uh, Cerebri Sands, and I'll give this uh, a size of about 18 pixels. Perfect. This can be much smaller now. It, it can be 16 pixels. Yeah, perfect. 16 pixels, medium Cerebri Sands. Place it towards the top of this logo. And right below this, we'll just copy this over and we're going to say, um, I don't know, a California City. California City, uh, California. Perfect, just, just to give it an address so we know where we're ordering the food from, make it 14 pixels and a regular font. Place it right below this, perfect. We're gonna group this, this entire uh, group and say Command G to group this and I will place this in the center. Perfect. So, and I will also place this McDonald's logo in the center of this text. Perfect. And it looks much, much better. Now we have uh, the little things on top. Uh, what we will now do is place, start placing the cards here. So from where we've placed the arrow to the right of this, we will, yeah, that's about it. And we will center this card, make sure it's centered, not like that, uh, centered horizontally, perfect. And uh, we will first round the edges, we will give it a 12 pixels. About 15 pixels. 12 was 12 is the best always. 12 pixels uh, border radius and make it slightly taller as well. And we will make it the same color. I've saved the color here. So this is the red here. And we will give it 50% opacity. 
Now you see how it merges in with the background and, and looks much more appealing to the eyes. It doesn't pop out too much and it's, it's just perfect for a card here. And now I will place a circle. I've already saved it as a symbol here. It's called circle and I will place the circle here. Perfect. Uh, let me ungroup this symbol and I'll make this circle much, much smaller. Uh, let it be 60 pixels. Perfect. And I'll place it at the top of the card here and 20 from the top 20 uh, and 20 from the left. One, two, one, two. Perfect. And I will, from this basic assets menu, I will pick out this burger. Oh, that's delicious, man. Oh. And I'll make this much, much smaller. Uh, we made this 60 pixels, so we'll make this 30 pixels. With 30 is a little too small, how about 40? Let's make sure it's 40 pixels in width. Uh, perfect. And we'll place it in the center right here. That looks beautiful. Maybe a little larger, depending on whatever aesthetics you're going for. That is right about perfect. Place it right and perfect. Now we want, uh, from the original design, we want a heading of uh, our order, which is going to be a Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac is the equivalent of a Maharaja Mac if you haven't tried it yet. Uh, it's a beef burger, so if for people who don't eat beef, it, it won't be uh, as appealing. So from the left of this circle, it'll be one, two, same as before, and this will be same as the heading size, which is 16 pixels. So we're going for 16, and uh, right below this, about 10 pixels below this, seven, eight, nine, ten. We will have all, you know, everything uh, that has been included inside the burger, any special requests, uh, things like extra lettuce, uh, plus vegan option. There's a vegan option for the burger as well. And we'll make this 14 pixels in size and uh, leave it at regular and place it 10 pixels below this. We will also place a line between these to make sure there's a slight amount of separation. Just about that. It shouldn't be too big. And uh, make it white and make it 20%. Yeah, 20% in opacity. About 15% is 15% to be safer. And we place it closer to the border. Perfect. Now we have the heading and we have the lettuce. Oh, one more thing uh, before we move forward. Uh, we want, uh, we basically want how many burgers we have. So for this, we have this rectangle and 12, uh, 12 pixels of border radius here and make this 20% opacity. And above this, we will place another text uh, that will be the number of burgers that we're ordering. Right now, we're ordering two burgers and we'll make this 12 pixels. Maybe even 10. Perfect. And we place it at the center of this rectangle. So now we will group it and we'll place it 10 pixels from the left. One. Perfect. So we know uh, we have two Big Macs to order and these are the extra options. Now let's quickly place in uh, the text for the price of this entire order. Uh, the total uh, price will say you have to pay. We're making the user experience slightly more friendly by saying you have to pay rather than total uh, amount. And we'll make this about 18, about 16 pixels in size and the font should be medium. You have to pay $7. Dollars, rupees, whatever you want to call it, $7.25. Let's make the you have to pay slightly less thicker than the actual amount, so regular. And the amount will be as thick as it was before. Place it on the left of the burger. And from the bottom, we'll place it 20 pixels. So one, two. Perfect. Uh, above this, we want to have a list of uh, text to uh, break this price down. 
Um, so let's just go to our original design because I'm feeling super lazy right now. I'm just gonna copy uh, uh, these uh, texts from this original uh, design. So um, let, let us make this much smaller as well. Perfect. And we'll group this up and we'll place it right above this text. 10 pixels. Got it. Done. So now you have a breakdown of the amounts and the total amount that we have to pay. We will now give uh, options for uh, payment. We will just copy this card bottom. So 20 pixels, so one, two, perfect. And um, here what we want is a simple card interface such as this. By the way, the, uh, the opacity of the card will be 25%, not 50%. So correct that 25%. We all make mistakes. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this circle from here. I'm just going to hold option and copy it here, just like that. And I will put in from here, we, I will put in the payment option as Visa, copy it from the basic assets panel and put it right here. Perfect. And I'll make this slightly smaller and I'll ungroup this. Um, Wait a second. Yeah, I'll ungroup the symbol and make it slightly smaller and place it in the middle. Perfect. Now we have Visa set up. Um, we'll make sure that I'll just lock this card out so that we can group it and drag everything here. And uh, we'll give it a, a heading of payment options. This will be 16 pixels in size and a uh, regular font will do for now. And from the top, I'll have it um, 20 pixels, one, two, one, two, perfect. Um, and align this in accordance with that, perfect. So payment options, uh, we are gonna say Visa debit. Quickly just create this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fast forward this portion because this portion can get slightly boring. As you can see, this card is now ready. One, uh, we'll add two more payment card options. We'll just copy this card from here and make sure it's 20 pixels from the top. Perfect, and we'll make it much smaller right now for this card. And we'll uh, copy this circle with it. Uh, we just want the circle. So we'll copy the circle over here. Perfect, place it in the center, just like that. And uh, we all obviously wanna give more payment options, so we will give the PayPal option as well. By the way, these icons I've picked from uh, flat icons. So go ahead and uh, copy your icons from flat icons as well. Flat icons is a great resource. By the way, I'm not a sponsor. So it's a, you know, like, um, I use it on a daily basis myself. So uh, that is PayPal's icon right here. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, now we will give just like that, we'll just give um, PayPal. I will say pay with PayPal. PayPal, <laughs> PayPal. And uh, we'll say medium, medium font. We want a medium font always uh, for a heading. And um, right below it, we want to say what account this is. So my email ID is beneath web developer, anything beneath um, Beneath web design, I don't know. It's a random email I'm setting. It's not. By the way, this is not my original uh, email account, so don't send any emails there. And uh, we'll set this to regular and 50%. How about a 70%, 60% opacity, and that's perfect. So we know what we're paying with, and we also place this arrow from the top, bring it right here. Perfect. Um, and we'll give another payment option as well, obviously. So I'll just drag this card from the top 
uh, here, right here, give it 20 pixels space, one, two. Um, and as you can see, it's overlaying slightly, but that's fine. And we want a cache option as well. Everybody wants a cache option these days in every application. So it's necessary to give a pay on delivery or cash on delivery option. And I'll ungroup this and I'll make this much smaller as well. And I'll center this and I'll say uh, pay with cash or pay on delivery. And uh, we'll just give a sub subheading such as uh, pay with uh, cash or card on delivery. Perfect. Deliveroo, <laughs> not delivery. And we'll make this smaller as well. Make this a regular and a 60% opacity right here. And I'll bring this arrow from the top to this place, to the center, and perfect. Okay, so this is slightly overlaying. We'll just make this text smaller. So pay with cash or card on delivery. We'll just say uh, pay with cash on delivery. Perfect. Um, and that was it. Uh, that is our final design as you can see it's it's beautiful the cards blend in with the background and the best part of about this theme is you can actually uh, just change the background and the entire look of the application and the cards changes um, okay so now that we have all uh, all the designs ready and everything I've shown you how to design this uh, let's go over to Avocode um, if I go to Safari, I've already opened Avocode and it says automate your design handoff workflow. So if you're giving this design to your developer or you're forwarding this design to your team, then this is a cool uh, tool. It has a 14 day membership for free and then you have to pay a small fees. It is, you can try it for free or uh, you, if you already have an account, that's awesome also. Uh, how we do it is we say new project right here and uh, your rad project. So let's just say McDonald's since we're, that's the name of the design, McDonald's. And we'll say web, iOS, Android, whichever platform you wanna export for. I'm gonna say iOS for now and I'll say create project. It'll take a couple of seconds and um, I can dra either drag the file here or I can actually browse uh, for my file. So I've already saved this as payment.xd and I'll choose the file. Uh, copy of payment has been added. Uh, it'll take a couple of seconds to import. I'll, I might skip this part or fast forward it. Okay, so now after all that processing, it takes a couple of seconds, uh, maybe even a minute, but it'll process everything and it'll show you all the components. And as you can see, I can already export for CSS and HTML from here. Uh, or I can uh, set up variables for different colors and stuff and I can export. If I want to export for Android or iOS, I will double click here. And as you can see, I uh, can add a variant or I can export for iOS right from here uh, in all these formats, PNG, JPEG, SVG, WebP. So whichever format you want, you can just from uh, these options you can set. I hope you liked that video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also hit that bell icon so that you can get my video in your notifications. I do videos every Monday and Thursday. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.